I'm gonna see if I can take this cheap golf ball, make it as useful as this premium golf ball with this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Ron Panda here. I love going out golfing every now and then. And Callaway came out with something that's kind of interesting, and they're called the Triple Track. But this Callaway golf ball, which is a really nice golf ball, this one's the Chrome Soft X. But what makes it interesting are these lines that they put on it, and it wraps almost the whole half of the golf ball. And you can see they call it the Triple Track because there's three lines one, two, three, triple. And there are two blue lines on the outside that flank this inner red line. And what's interesting about this is you can use these lines to line up your shot. Now, specifically, they are used for your putt. And this is so that you can stand back there, line this up, and then get over the ball and look down on it and know where that swing path is supposed to be. On top of that, there are putters that sell triple track lines, so these same lines on the putter so you'll be able to line the putter up directly with the ball now the problem with that is that these balls are not necessarily cheap callaway balls are not inexpensive but these lines could be reproducible so that's why i picked this up it's a tri-line alignment kit and they're little clamps that you put onto your ball and they do come with two markers a lot of guys like marking their balls a little clover leaf, their initials or something like that. So when you get out there, because guys are using a lot of title lists sometimes, that'll help figure out whose ball it is. So it does come with a couple of markers. I'm not so interested in those. And it comes with two of these ball clamps. Now, I do want to show you that on the two sides here, they kind of clam shell together. And on this side, we do have some different designs. Triple X's, um, little hexagonal shapes. Uh, four lines, circles if you want to do, do a clover leaf or a diamond pattern. So you could definitely do that on the one side. Uh, but on this side, what's really interesting about it is they have three cuts for three lines. Now, I wanted to see if I could make my own triple track. So I'm going to just take this Callaway golf ball first. I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to line it up and see how close these lines are to what we get. And I would say that I've centered that red line on the middle one. And what you might be able to see here are those blue lines are pretty close. They're kind of on the inside of the cut right there. They're almost entirely covered up by plastic. But what I think I can do here is if I use a red marker on the center and then I kind of use a thin blue marker on the inside of these lines, I can come up with a reasonable facsimile. It's really not as important to get these lines perfectly in terms of distance from that center line as opposed to just being straight and you can't really freehand that. So. To make this even easier and more color matched, I picked up this set of Sharpies. So I'm gonna use the red and the blue. So first of all, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to just clamp this onto this old pinnacle and I'm going to put it on a clean side. That's all white, just like that. I'm gonna take my red marker here and I am going to go ahead and put a line down the center. Now I will say that what you might be able to see here is that you can't do the full hemisphere of the ball as you would get with the triple track. These are probably going only one quarter of the way around, okay? So actually, even though these are fine point Sharpies, I don't think I can hug that inner line as I was really hoping. I will try, but it's kind of hard because the plastic is pretty deep. And so just to get the point to the ball is about the best I can do. It looks like I can kind of do it a little bit here. You might have to all right, so I, I think that wasn't bad. I got in and I kind of kept that, the tip of the pen pointed down and I'm gonna try it on this side too here. So just like that. All right, so just like that. And now what we have is my homemade triple track. And I would say that's pretty good. You know, the lines are straight and they are pretty similar. And again, probably the biggest difference here is that these maybe only go a quarter way around the golf ball, whereas these go halfway around the golf ball. As you might be able to see there. But that's pretty darn good. Hey, if you want to save yourself some money, buy the same golf balls that you maybe know and love and can afford and want to add the triple track to your golf balls, I think this little kit is a great way to go. It could save you a lot of money in the long run. This little kit is available on Amazon. I will put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.